I'm back from my shopping trip in Madrid, and today I'm going to show you what I bought, how I wear it, and throw in a few tips along the way. I'm Tracy Gold, and my passion is to share fashion tips with you that make you look and feel fabulous. Madrid is not the typical shopping city. However, what I did find is that it has an amazing abundance of cost-effective options when it comes to high fashion stuff, which is fabulous. It also is the mecca of shoes. Oh my word, girls, if you love shoes, then Madrid is a wonderful place. If I've piqued your curiosity and you'd like to see what I got up to in Madrid, then take a look at my video series on where to shop in Madrid. In fact, I will just put the link below for the playlist so it's really easy for you to find. Where possible, I'm adding links below for the items and where they are not available in your country or just not available, then I've added some suggested things that will be quite similar just in case you have to have them yourself. Okay, now I mentioned that Madrid is a fabulous place for shoes and that is mostly what I came back with. I found these beautiful Gloria Ortiz gold boots at El Corte Anglais and I just absolutely love them. They're quite unique and because they're gold, they go with everything. I did find, unlike Italy, that Spanish shoes are a little bit bigger and wider, which is great if you need bigger sizes. For me, it was a little bit of a challenge because I have such tiny feet, but it's a good thing to know. Maybe just go down a size and then you'll find your perfect shoe. I was on the lookout for a pair of red boots. I was just lusting after some red boots. I had to have them, but I really couldn't find them. But I happened to pass by a charity shop and I found this divine pair for four euro. I was so excited. I promise you it was just completely amazing. Now let me just say as well though, if you find something at a charity shop that you think is a good buy, but it's not what you really want or would ordinarily buy, or you're not gonna get much wear out of it, rather take that little bit of money and go have a lovely glass of wine or a tapas down the road. Don't waste your money, even if you think it's a good buy. And hey, if you're enjoying these tips and they're really useful for you, please feel free to like the video and share this with your friends. Your friends might be traveling over to Spain soon and these tips would be really helpful for them. Come on ladies, just share, share, share. Madrid is really big on their high street brands, Zara, Mango, De Sigil, Woman's Secret, etc. And they're all from Spain. So even if you think you know that particular store because you shopped it in your own city, go anyway because you may find some things you wouldn't normally find in your hometown. I found these divine raffle trousers at Zara. In fact, I first saw them on a music video in Milan and was just lusting after them. So you can imagine my excitement when I found them at a Zara store, at Zara prices. Fabulous. Now, they may not be suitable for everyday wear, but it's a great alternative to the little black dress to make a statement when you're going out in the evening. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I would love to hear your comments. What do you like? What do you find useful? And what would you like to hear more of in the future? So I can make sure to bring you fashion tips that make you look and feel fabulous. Also, if you'd like to have your very own makeover in Spain, then feel free to follow the link below for further details. Coming up soon, I'll be doing a video on top shopping hacks for traveling girls. So make sure, if you haven't already, to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out.